Hello and welcome to the Heavenly Traveler Workshop. Hi, I am Medium Pamela Teresa, also known as Medium in the Raw. Today I wanted to share with y'all um, how I create the little mini Heavenly Traveler notebooks. I create these for my clients when I meet with them for a session. I call them the Spiritual Breadcrumb Trail Journal, the Heavenly Traveler Journals. And I use a little mini pad, a mini legal pad which is let's see here let's i tell you you're, you're gonna get to learn how it is eight by five and so i picked these up uh, in bulk at sam's club anyway let's get on down to it y'all hey 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 uh do you want a spiritual message today from the remember you course remember i am a true born medium uh, and the whole mission and purpose of everything I do is to help people come into that awareness that spirit communication does exist. I prove the continuity of life. That is my job. I've always been this way. This is the Remember You course. And this is me, Pamela Teresa. I created this Remember You Spiritual Awareness Empowerment course. There are 40 beautiful spiritual messages in the spiritual deck. It is not an oracle deck to give readings on other people. It is a personal deck um, helping you work your way through all of that jazz. Uh, anyway, so my job as a medium is to help people deal with tra tragic loss and repercussions of death. And I deliver powerful messages of evidence of spirit communication while teaching how to continue the everlasting communication without the medium. That's really important here to the Heavenly Traveler journals. And of course, y'all have seen as, let's see, I'm gonna move this out of the way here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a nice little beautiful spiritual message for me today. Uh, if you would like to check out my job, check me out, go to mediumpamelateresa.com or you can go to my other YouTube channel, Medium Pamela Teresa, by going to pamela.live. Let's go. Take back your power is the message today. Be your superhero self today. No matter what is going on in your life right now, remember all of your strengths. Focus on the successes that you have already had. Be determined to stand tall and win the battle within today. The battle within, you know, what's going on inside that noggin of yours. See yourself as strong, and tap into the warrior spirit that resides within you. So, Take Back Your Power is section two. This is the workbook you can pick up off of Amazon. And that's on page 34. <laughs> Let's see. What, what, what? Did I do something wrong here with the page numbers? 21, 27. 34, take back your power. <clears throat> can you see, can you see? I know I have it a little bit dingy in here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Archangel Raphael is one of the seven archangels who stand before the throne of the Lord and one of the only three mentioned by name in the Bible. Raphael's name means God heals. The chakra is a sacral chakra located in the lower abdomen below the navel. The sacral chakra, or Svadhisthana, <laughs> I can't say worth a darn, is the second of the seven main chakras in Sanskrit. Svadhisthana means <laughs> the dwelling place of self. The sacral chakra relates to emotional and sexual energy in the body and our ability to flow with change. And it's the color orange. The sacral chakra color is composed of red and yellow in equal parts, and it is a color of vitality and strength. And so then, let's see which message this is. Be your superhero self today. Okay. There are five spiritual messages within each section. There are eight sections. It's the very first message, so how about that? I'm getting out of work through the herd, woohoo! <laughs> uh, my personal success story, so I journal a little bit of that. 
and five things I am great at. So really bumping up our self-confidence and knowing who we are. Spirit World's always about know thyself and all will be revealed. So that's the Remember You course. To learn more about it, go to mediumpamelatresa.com or mediumintheraw.com. All roads point there. I'm sorry it's kind of dark and dingy whilst I film, but I'm very light sensitive. So I'm thanking my nice little phone for for kind of brightening it up a tad for y'all. Let's get on into the creating of this beautiful personal heavenly traveler. I, uh, like I said, I have been, I've gotten back up on that horse again. We're doing in-person reads and I'm super excited about that. I still do Zoom reads, but I'm very happy to be out and about meeting with people now. And I made the decision to get back up on that heavenly traveler uh, horse, if you will, and create these beautiful heavenly travelers for my clients. And I will add some photos here in this video of uh, over the last couple of days where I've been gifting these out. And as I said, the purpose of these journals is to document the spiritual breadcrumb trail. And if you're a little bit confused, I did just recently put up a video and I should highlight it here on my channel, why I create the Heavenly Travelers. And I really go into detail as far as what the spiritual breadcrumb trail is. Basically, it is a uh, kind of like pennies from heaven, physical evidence, your loved ones on the other side point in the direction of uh, things here in the physical. You pay attention to it, make a little bullet point list of certain things that you've noticed. Say you might have been noticing the color yellow an awful lot, maybe the color green an awful lot. The reason why you're noticing these colors is your loved ones on the other side are actually talking to you saying, hey, look over there. It's evidence in the physical. They have to use the physical world around us uh, to actually communicate with us if you pay attention and do that Sherlock Holmes, that spiritual detective, you'll come to know that you do have that powerful connection and communication and there's validations all over the place. The point of the spiritual breadcrumb trail is to help you in your life. Your little ones who are the heavenly travelers who are on the other side who are transitioned, they know what you need, they know what your mission and purpose is and they're guiding. They hear your prayers, prayer is the most powerful tool. And so they're helping you, you know, guide you on your way to, you know, your way through life basically. They can't do it for you, but they will assist you and guide you. And they, again, like I said, things that are happening, things that are repeating, numbers that are repeating, things that you're saying. It is the soul that powers the body. We're all eternal beings. The physical body is the coat for the soul. That's the case for everybody. And it stands to reason, as that is the case, we all have a connection and communication with our loved ones on the other side. Simply coming into the awareness that this is happening uh, is all you need to do. Hello. Now, not everybody's born the freaking nature like me. And trust me when I say, you're lucky. Because <laughs> uh, you can choose to like, say, turn it on, turn it off. But if you have somebody who's really important on the other side, you want to know that this communication is real. Okay. And that's why we created the Heavenly Travelers journals. Let's get on with this. Now, I will go on ahead and I know that that's eight. So let's cut this is a 12 by 12 um, piece of two-sided. I picked it up, I think, at Tuesday morning or, you know, one of the places. So we're going to go to 8, 888, eight, eight, because this is 8. So it's a really easy peasy journal I've created. Well, y'all know, just recently I've been creating this Heavenly Traveler, the Circle of Knowledge. You watched, I have the videos up, right? I've created hundreds and hundreds of, of Heavenly Traveler journals. This is one that I made out of leather. I went to the leather store and then I dyed it, I cut it. It's so beautiful. I love it. See, Heavenly Traveler, love, handmade by me. This is my personal Heavenly Traveler. I, I embossed beautiful gold. And these are the angel ring, wings, because every Heavenly Traveler has to have angel ring, wings. My daughter carved these out for me with some rubber, and so it's a stamp. And then I created these, these beautiful inserts here. There's two of them, and I'm not going to show you the what's inside because, uh, oh, hey, this is my personal journal. So my personal breadcrumb trail, let's see here. Actually, yeah, so I just took some cardstock and laminated it and added, let's see if I can show you blank, and I just added pages, right? Okay, so 
I wanted to share with y'all. So I can't wait to get to the leather, leather, bleh, leather store again and create some more of these. I love this. It's so beautiful. Okay. Now, we cut that off. While I'm here, because I'm actually going to use this, and you'll see. You shall see. I'm going to go ahead and cut these down. Because I have a system here. Yes, I have figured it out. And this I'll save for something else. And I'm going to use these. And okay, I don't need you anymore. And then, so I have this um, little uh, where you can put a picture here, a photo. Um, and this is from a, an Etsy download. Uh, I found this from a template on Etsy. Uh, her name is Jen of Eve Designs, and I like these photo templates or the photo digital printouts. It's super cool. I like it. Anyway, so I'm gonna. Get on over here and it's five but what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it so I want this to be the front so yeah, I'll start back here and I'm gonna score I'm gonna go five right here and then I'm gonna add one more boom if I can see can I see can I see oh okay so there's five right there and go one more like that it's just, <laughs> you can do it however you want. If you wanted to create a little one, then I'm going to hop on over here. I'm going to go a quarter and one. Let's see now. That looks like I've already got it there. Do I want to go more than that? That seems, where do I want to score you? Yeah, I do. So this is my creative method here, right? And then again, I want to... I can fold that. <laughs> I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make the front the same as the back. So I'm going to go five plus one just to have a little bit of overhang. Okay. So there we have <clears throat> our nice. Hello. Let's fold. I should. Ta da! So you can see right there. See? It's not that hard at all. And rather than cutting this piece off, I'll show you. I'm going to make a little tuck spot with it. So let's burnish this down so that way these stay put. Um, ta da da! This really does give me joy. This is in the joy of uh, creating playlist. I will be adding this. Uh, I just really enjoy. I love. I love the paper. I love fabric. I just. It just makes me happy. Gives me happy, happy thoughts. Okay. So what I do want to do is I want to close this pocket real quick here, and I shall do that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right there. And a little bit of glue right there. And I'm just going to let it dry. I hope you're having a most wonderful day. The weather here has been sunshiny and awesomeness. I'm super enjoying it. Alrighty then. Also, I want to put Heavenly Traveler on the front. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to take some Distressed Oxide and Walnut Stain and I'm going to get a little ink here on this stamp. As always, you know it doesn't have to be perfect. Just <laughs> da, da, da. So here we go. Here we go. Do, do, do. And then I just lay it there and kind of, oops, don't move. I think I'll just use my pad to, how's that? How's that? Huh? Isn't that cute? Then I take 
my Heavenly Traveler stamp. You know it. Sorry for uh, wiggling you around here. And I eyeball it. Like I said, we don't need perfection. We just set her down. Once we set her down, we just smash her down. A little Heavenly Traveler. And then, and today is the 21st of April, Wednesday. It's a good day to be alive. Heavenly Traveler. See, it's not perfect. We, we don't mind. Okay. Now my little handmade buy stamp, right? I'll put this back here. And... I love giving these as presents to my clients when I meet with them in person. I don't, uh, I don't send these to people who I do Zoom reads with because, well, I'm not, you know, in person. My apologies, but you know, it is what it is. It is. I shall put my stamp where it goes, real quick here. So, making sure. And made by Pamela. And a nice little heart. And today is 4 21 20, 21. Is it 21 already? Wow. Holy moly of all the holy molies. And of course, we have to make the heart pretty and pinkish. Right? All right, let's check out our. Nice little pocket here. There's a few things I'm going to do here. First of all, I'm going to round the edges of these little cards just because I think it just is a nice little added touch. And super cute. I like doing that. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to, so this is going to wind up right here. And here is a, a journaling spot for the recipient of this Heavenly Traveler journal. And I'm going to glue this right here. Super easy. Like so. Just a little, little cute detail. And then make sure I have this the way I want it. Hello. I'm going to eyeball it. It's kind of hard to eyeball it. It's a very busy. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to put that down again. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, where are you? There you are. There you are. And then I'm really wanting to embellish this a little bit, so I'm going to add some of these uh, reinforcement labels that I have put a little bit of um, bling on uh, the um, foil. And then, so they're pretty like that, right? I like that. And I'm going to eyeball the center here, kind of. Okay, put that there, and then we shall poke a hole, punch a hole. And then I'll grab another one for the other side. All right. So, then I have some seam binding here. Which I'll just make a pretty little, you know, pretty little addition to this. A little pretty. And then we shall add this in right here. Not a hard thing to do at all. And I like it to be a little bit longer. I think the ribbon is super pretty and as 
all of our Heavenly Traveler journals, notebooks, they have to have angel wings. Every last one of them do. So look at this cutie pie. I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna use a little bulb pen or a um, garment pen, some people refer to as. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, so here we go. And then I'm gonna just add this little pretty right here. See, no fuss, no mess. Easy peasy. Isn't that cute, y'all? I just think it's adorbs. But also, too, I'm gonna um, I'm losing stuff here. Here we go. Uh, where is my stamp that I had out? I have a stamp somewhere. Oh, where did you go? Did you fall? Okay, we have you and you. And I know I'm gonna add a sticker that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, at the Dollar Store, you know, these sticker packs. And I want it to say forever. So I'm gonna have it say forever. Or we could say only you. Hmm. Only you. <laughs> but before I do that, I need to find my... I have a stamp somewhere. I must have dropped it. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate because it's kind of like... I guess I'll find it later. But it was actually quite perfect. So we're going to add another. I want to put a little stamp there, y'all. Um, what are we going to do? Here we go. I was all prepared and ready to go. And now I have to... Uh, No. Well, I guess that could go. I guess that'll have to do. It's similar to another one was really pretty. Watch me find it as soon as I turn the camera off, y'all. Let me turn the light on. Hmm. My room. Am I looking at it and not knowing it? Do you ever do that? It must have fallen. Is it in here and I didn't know it? That's what I get for being prepared. <laughs> I had everything out and ready to go. Well, I'll be. Okay, well. Okay, today's the day to lose things and then maybe Maybe my loved ones here on the other side are messing with me. So we will improvise. Where do we want this? Hmm. A little squiggly. We'll do that. Just because. Because why it makes me happy. Okay. Now, again, let's find our little sticker that we want to put here. I like you and me. Who knows? I never know who this this journal is going to go to, and it'll probably be relevant, right? You know how that goes. You and me. Just a little sparkly fun there. Well, very subtle, but pretty. 
the little hearts. Why not? <clears throat> so we have that tag done. And so before we go any further, let's actually, we need to, go, oh, 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 I know what we need to do. We have to make this pretty. That's what we have to do. So I'm going to take that off of there. Okay. Now I need some paper again. Light on the subject, please. So I'm going to go into my reserves here and grab out a little bit of paper to cover that. Patience, y'all. Patience, why not? We could just use a little bit of uh, coffee dyed paper here. That'll be pretty. Let's do that. So you want to cut at five. Um, gotta turn this around. No, we don't. Okay. Gonna go five. Like that should work. Yep. And we don't need all of that overhang, so we're gonna guess. Yeah, just cut it down a little bit. Okay. Go straight. And I always keep a hold of my coffee dyed, tea dyed papers because hey, comes in handy dandy. For times like this. So I just take a little bit of this uh, create glue stick from Scotch and just glue it down. And so I'm going to attach this here because that looks prettier than members, Mark, right? And burnish it down. Okay. And these, you can use any kind of paper on these. Isn't that prettier? Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, kind of add a little bit of prettiness to this. What if, uh, will this fit on there? Let's give it a shot. Let's see. So I can cut that down a little bit. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Hello. And then take a little bit of this right here. A little, little bit of a, you know, just pretty it up a bit, right? Yeah. Everybody's idea of pretty is different, right? And then I can uh, glue this down. So I want to use a little bit of this. Uh, white glue, glue it down. And just not too much, just a little. And then add that there. I think that's a nice little touch, right? Okay. Just a reminder, it's a Heavenly Traveler journal. No big deal. Got a little stamp in here somewhere. I so need to clean out my Heavenly Traveler workshop, y'all. I just, um, I, I have to, I have to be able to get to things. Now, where did that little stamp go? I had a really cute little stamp. Um, did I put it away maybe? No, 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 I found it. It's right here. So what if 
what if we actually um, see if this will do something? Oh, pretty, y'all. Isn't that pretty? See? Now it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing in it, but y'all, it's a situation. My apologies. All righty then. Put some of the stuff away because I'm getting a little overwhelmed with everything in the wrong place. And now what we're going to do, see this is going to go right here, right? But in a minute, got a little ink right there, but that's okay. So I really do need to ink this right here so I can see where to add my little mini legal pad. And when I say I've made hundreds of these journals, I mean I have made hundreds. It's just been a wonderful thing, I think. Oh, my glue is leaking out. My glue was leaking out. That's, I've got to get myself to the store because I am in need of, I've been saying this for weeks, but I've been trying to squeeze out as much and really use up as much as I can of my glue. Um, but I am really running low on glue and tape. I mean, I do have a lot of glue and tape here in the Hemley Traveler Workshop, but my I've gone through a lot of different kinds of glues and I've settled on ones that I really do like to use and I find that they work well. Um, but if push came to shove, I do have other glues I could use. Okay. So yeah, let's go on ahead and sit this down right here and kind of just let it do its thing <clears throat> and burnish it down, right? Just, is that adorable y'all? <clears throat> And another finishing touch. Now what I like to do, like I said, it's just a simple little journal I make for my clients. These really adorable miniature paper clips, oops, <laughs> from um, Tim Holtz, Ideology. And so uh, what I like to do is put that little card in there and, oops, my hands are a little sticky from the glue. And then I just put that little paper clip right there and it secures our cute little card that we'll put a photo on. And then I thought another added touch from that 12 by 12 is this card home is where the heart is. And so I just take another little paper clip and I just attach this card to the top page, okay? And the person who receives this can actually use this as like a little bookmark for whatever page they're on. Is that adorable? Anyway, <clears throat> there you have it. A little Heavenly Traveler journal that I've created using a mini legal pad. And uh, I just, like I said, I've made hundreds of these. I've given so many of these away. I really do enjoy creating these, though. I hope you have a most fantastic and wonderful day. I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for hopping by the Heavenly Traveler Workshop. And I absolutely can't wait to make more and film them because this brings me joy and pleasure. And I really do enjoy this. Again, if you want to learn more about me, go to mediumpamelatresa.com and we can connect that way or go to pamela.live and join my other channel, Medium Pamela Teresa. Okay, that's it. That is it. That is it. I love you all. And as always, carry on.